Hey, what's up guys? Matt Schiffer with American Made Exotics here. I just wanted to do a quick video tonight while we pull this clutch. Uh, it's another opportunity for us to breed redhead into our collection. Uh, we ended up picking up a redhead spot nose fire yellow belly male uh, last year. And our goal was to kind of put that on some visual clowns to hopefully hit redhead spot nose fire yellow belly combos that are 100% head clown. And then long term we can keep some of those girls, keep a boy and we can breed the redhead into our collection with some of our clown double recessive projects. So this pairing ended up being a redhead fire spot in his yellow belly that we bred to a spider clown 50% posset desert ghost. Now I got a small clutch out of her last year to a visual desert ghost and I didn't see any visuals but I kept her because I wanted to try one more time before I rolled it out but she's got some good size on her and when I started laying my pairings out uh, for the year, it just didn't work out that way. Um, like I said, I really wanted to try to get some redhead head clown combos in my collection this year. So this girl had some nice size on her. She looked nice and, nice and bright. So she ended up falling into the group that went to the redhead. So should be a good size clutch from her. Uh, this is her second clutch. So hopefully we get the odds in our favor and I at least get one cool animal that can sit to the shelf and help get redhead into our collection long term. But let's pull these and see what we got from her. All right, so here she is. Looks like a good size clutch. Uh, looks like some good eggs. Let's see if we can't uncoil her and see what she gave us. Uh, looks like she's trying to bite us here. Sometimes you give them a little poke in the head and that's all it takes. And we will uncoil her and we're gonna sit her to the side, get her washed up and then take a look at what we got here. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five six seven eight eggs so good size clutch uh hopefully there's enough to get what we need in here let's can them and see if they're good all right that one's good that one's good that's good that's good that one's good that one's good that one's good, that one's good. And that one down there underneath. Yep, that one's good too. Cool. So all of them are good. So eight eggs, I'd definitely take it. So that's a couple shots that we have in the incubator right now to hopefully hit those redhead head clown combos. Um, I think it has a lot of potential in the clown. I've seen a couple cool things that other people have made with it. So I'm really looking forward to getting it into my collection like that. And seeing what all I can do with it and play with the gene over the next couple years. So while I get this box up, I'll show you a look at that boy real quick. And uh, you can definitely see why I'm so excited to get it into my clown stuff. So here's the male right here. And that is a redhead, spot nose, fire, yellow belly boy. Uh, he is definitely cool. Nice and bright. I really can't wait to see what this does mixed in with some other, other genes. And this is the sire right here of a handful of clutches breeding redhead into our collection. So now you can see why I'm excited and I definitely look forward to seeing what we can do with it over the next few years. All right, so that's another one on the shelf. And we're slowly starting to pile up in here. I think that's 370 eggs so far. So it's starting to add up and we still got these guys pipping. I did a video on them when we cut them. And I'm waiting on this pastel double head desert ghost puzzle to super pastel double head desert ghost puzzle. These should be pipping any day now. And then right after that, we have a leopard pastel head ultramo to an ultramo pied. And then we got double head ultra pie, the ultra mile pie. Uh, so a couple things coming up we're looking forward to. So we'll be back in here soon with another update. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Until the next one.